G'day. Today we're doing a repair on a Isuzu D-Max 2018 model. It's got the 3 litre turbo diesel. And what's happening? He's stuck in limp mode. Only done about 80 odd thousand kilometres. So we've got all the lights and bells and everything flashing there. And we've got a quick scan there. Every fault code under the sun. So he's probably got a wiring loon problem there. There are too many fault codes in one hit. So it's a good idea to check all your basics first. Make sure your battery's fully charged and strong. Check all your earth straps, transmission fluid, level, all that sort of thing before you do any uh, pulling apart of anything. Yeah, quite often the earth straps on those are bolted to paint, so you've got to make sure you've got a good connection there. Quite often the, the, the only contact through the earth straps through the thread of the bolt going into the chassis, so it's a good idea to spray a bit of WD-40 or put some uh, conductive grease in there. It doesn't look like he's got any oil leaks. But here, here is the problem. The plug has somehow been broken off. There we go. Well, that's why he's got all those fault codes. You can see the plug's completely snapped off for some reason. So it might be an easy fix. Now to drain the oil out of this plug, and this one here is where you measure the the height of the transmission fluid and you got to do that at a specific temperature as well. Good idea to mark all the colours of the wires or the plugs. Now we're just going to take that bolt off, take all the plugs out and the plug should just pull out through the top there. We just support that plastic there and then you can just poke the scribe out and it should just pop out Give the plug a good blow out before you take it out. It's just stuck on the O-ring there. You can see what's happened on this one. He's obviously hit something. It's not glue, is it? No, it's just dirt. He's hit something and it's broken that plug right away. And there's the new plug there. It looks like it's the same. 
important to just look at the position of the wires. We've got yellow, red, white. Yellow, red, white. No worries. So we can safely open this packet or we can't return it. And we can do a better comparison now. Make sure it's all the same. Now before you put it in, just make sure you actually feel that it's nice and clean there. And use a bit of solvent, clean it. And before we put that plug back in, we're just going to whiz off that speed sensor up there. It's there mag magnetised or magnetic. We'll just give that a clean and blow out as well. Dirty. Yeah, it's got a bit of fuzz Yeah, on we'll just blow that off. Clean all the road dirt out of there. Blown it out. Put it back in. A little bit of oil on the O-ring. And we just start off by putting the wiring through. Another thing, this plug that goes into that, that was all full of dirt, got rammed in there, make sure you clean that plug out as well. Spray a bit of WD-40 or CRC or corrosion inhibitor. And you've just got to rotate that plug until it finds its little seat. Pull it back in. So the plug there, you've got to have that bracket down like that, so it can go on. Like that. As you're pushing it down, you just lever that up and it should just click in at the top there. To get it off, you've got to press that little clip to release it, so that little arm can come down and it'll just push it off. There we go, we've spl sprayed a little bit of WD-40 in there. I'll also take off this inhibitor switch plug and clean that up in there, spray a bit of WD-40 in it as well while we're there. And now we can put all these back on. Now when you're putting the wiring back on, just make sure you don't twist it so the cables are all nice and loose. And don't push them in until you know they're right for sure. We've got starting from the front, the white and black um, wires go on there, then you got the blue and black, grey and black, pink and black, yellow black, grey black, and the white right at the back. The temp sensors are just, well you'll know that um, the longest one goes up here and the other one goes in there. Make sure all those wires aren't twisted or pulling too hard. Compare the filter with the old one. And as always, make sure that the O-ring's there on the filter pickup. If it's not there, you're going to be in strife. A little bit of oil makes it go in a lot easier. And we've got the pan. You can see the magnets are covered there. Good idea to give them a clean and also a good idea to add magnets if you can. You can see the little height tube, that's where the oil level marker is. The pan's nice and clean. Magnets, we like to leave them up on these little ridges and that way you get more surface area exposed to the oil they'll do a much better job 
Don't forget to put these little sleeves in. It stops the, the rubber from being crushed down when you bolt it. Pan's all back on. Now we're ready to fill it. Now you'll find there's a plug on the driver's side or the right hand side of the transmission up here. You can either fill it through there or you can also fill it through the that little tube there. So either either depends if you're doing it on the ground it might be easier to fill it from here um, but you want to get that just overflowing over that tube. So we've got uh, the Penrite multi full synthetic fluid recommended for this vehicle and we need to get the transmission up between 45 and 55 degrees with the oil just trickling out of here if you go over temperature you've got to let it cool down and if you if you're under it won't be coming out so um, another thing is you can use a digital thermometer get an average of a couple of spots on the transmission to get the temperature or you can use your scan tool whatever's easier for you and we've just got it coming out there now got it up to temperature make sure you put your plug fill a plug back in if you've used it the fluid level plug have a good look around, make sure you haven't got any oil leaks anywhere else. Good idea to check transfer case, unis, rear diff, front diff, anything out of place, out of whack. Anyway, I hope that's helped. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Leave any comments or suggestions in the section below. Thank you for watching.